chills welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and get into your next 72 hour forecast and see what's going on uh if you want to see the extended version it will be on my patreon so definitely join me over there if you aren't a member and if you already are just go ahead and head over to patreon when you're done watching this video the video will be listed up there but let's go ahead and jump straight in i want to start with the cosmic creatures deck this is by mystic mondays I love their tarot deck. So let's see what animal archetype comes through. This is going to be what you guys need to embody, the characteristics you guys need to embody during this time frame. Virgos, what is the animal archetype that should be representative of their energy for the next 72 hours? What's the energy? So we have the dragonfly. Awesome. So let's see what the book has to say about the dragonfly. All right. So this is representative of evolution, adaptation, and growth. And it reads, when the dragonfly flies into your life, you're being asked to adapt to the circumstances at hand. Change is coming whether you like it or not, and how you react will be a test of your character. The dragonfly aids you in upholding your integrity, perseverance, and flexibility, testing your faith in the process. The dragonfly appears to remind you of your higher power, that even though you're being thrown into the hands of fate, you have everything at your disposal to handle whatever comes your way. The dragonfly can change direction with ease, creating flight patterns that often appear effortless. Once you get the hang of these cycles, you too will be generating your own flight patterns and will be able to navigate through curveballs with ease. The dragonfly invites you to look at the silver lining. Ask yourself, why is this showing up for me and what can I learn from it? Only then will you grow. Okay. So this is making sure that you're falling in line with your circumstances. All right. So let's also look at the Price of Love deck as well and see what comes through. What messages are coming through for my Virgos? Hold on. Holy moly. my virgos Ooh. all right so we have surrender and we also have triggered okay so with surrender again this is allowing yourself to kind of be in the flow of life this is making sure that you're not trying to force outcomes or that you're being overbearing in terms of spirit or let me rephrase that. This is making sure you're not overdoing things because spirit's already working behind the scenes. And you want to be careful of letting certain triggers cause you to like do things that are so out of alignment with you. Whether that's, you know, going off or cussing certain people out or, you know, even... I'm not going to say that. But this is going too far. There could be somebody who... You're having a discussion with an argument with something comes up with another individual and this may kind of trigger you in a sense you want to be careful of your response something also during this time frame may pop off where it shows you okay all i can do is just kind of let go and let god Let's keep going. Let's use the Real Talk Tarot to see what's coming up. What are some things that my Virgos are not aware of that may come up in the next 72 hours? What do they need to know? What messages they need to hear. All right, so I have the Knight of Swords, I have the Six of Cups, and I have the Tower. So yeah, if you're dating somebody who you have children with, surprise, 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 they're fickle again. <laughs> This is not a surprise. I'm being I'm being sarcastic, but literally you guys can expect this from the person you may have kids with. All right. This may be like a very unstable situation you have with them. And this time is no different. There could be a random argument. This person is kicking off, especially if this is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
okay there could be a random random argument that pops off that like creates this like unstable environment for you two to kind of like co-parent or even live together if you guys are still together You could even hear from, and this is like beyond just this topic, you could hear from like an old friend who you may have fell out with and like you, you may hang out with them, but you may realize that the energy between you two just will never be the same. Like things could be pretty awkward between you two. There could be a conversation that kind of brings up old issues and you realize that dang, this person isn't over the old issues you guys may have had at one point. Yeah, this could be like kind of tearing at a friendship that you guys were about to build. Like you could be realizing that this person is just still either the same. Or they haven't moved on. All right, let's keep going. I have the nine of swords, the full card, and I also have the knight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I get the energy of nightmares or like not being able to sleep. So definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself in terms of getting adequate sleep and maybe adding meditation into your rotation again if you haven't meditated in a while. If you're somebody who has never meditated, maybe putting that um, into your bed or your nighttime routine. But I'm getting this energy of like either not getting any sleep at all, like being very restless and staying up wee hours of the night or having very vivid dreams that you don't necessarily remember uh, throughout this 72 hours. And what I would say is keep a dream journal so that you can try to remember your dreams or write them down before you do forget them because 90% of us, I think it's 90 or 99% of us don't remember our dreams. I also have the king of wands in reverse the three of pentacles and also the ten of cups so yeah if you have a kid with possibly an Aries Sagittarius or Leo this individual may be acting very hot-headed uh, very stubborn this person could be acting like a player or as if they have options. They could literally have options. And this could be a problem for you in terms of you trying to build something with them. And yeah, I just see issues with you guys being able to like restructure a happy home or hmm. You could have somebody who's really lazy working with you in terms of like a business and you may have to like cut this person off. And the sad part may be that this is like a family member or a close friend, somebody who you really would have been happy, you know, to work with. But they could be dragging your business down or dragging you down, period, by not doing their part. I'm also seeing that with like a roommate situation, like somebody's getting kicked out because they're not doing their part. Okay, but I'm going to finish this off on the other side. If you want to see the extended version, definitely feel free to check out my Patreon. Like I said, it will be below. Make sure you guys go ahead and get you a reading as well if you need that. And I will see you on the other side. Bye.